So you know you're bad when you're minus five overall on the Jaguars. What's up, guys? Shaker Unroll coming back at you with another video. Today, we are back on Falcons Man 22 Franchise Episode 11, I think. So we're on. Yeah, we're playing the Jags. Jags are the Jags. Hopefully, we can get a win. The Jags are very good in simulation. But who knows how good they actually are. I'm going to be confident today. Uh... Arthur Smith is going to get fired, and I'm going to have to go f find him and bring him back. But yeah, I'm going to buy some talents today. Definitely think that's probably a good idea. Avoid losing multiple games for the rest of the season. That's not happening. More than likely. I am going to go scout college players because I have gotten better at that. I've learned a little bit. Trevor Lawrence is a superstar. Uh, I think if we defend the inside run against James Robinson, we will be very effective. I think we're going to try to run inside today as well. I don't. I can't remember whether or not I gave Calvin Ridley or Kyle Pitts the abilities I wanted to. Because I, I do think Kyle Pitts has abilities now. I'll go look at this staff in a minute. Um... Calvin Ridley have the right abilities outside of Prentice and mid out elite. No, I'm gonna give him route tech. And I forgot to do the other one. Um I think where he catches the last slant over the middle, grab and go will be good. Kyle Pitts, double me, superstar X Factor. He's, he's, he has an upgrade. We're gonna go vertical throw on him. He's up to an eighty six overall. Kyle Pitts is gonna be very, very solid. I'm gonna also what did he have men out in the league? He does run like a lot of like in rats over the middle. Short out elite. I think make him short out elite. I think that might be good. And route tech. Hopefully that makes Kyle Pitts pretty good. And then I don't think we have anybody else with abilities on our team. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go to manage staff. We're going to go to the franchise staff. And, uh, yeah. View the talent tree for sure. Uh, do I have X-Factors on? I do. I guess I could boost the hit power for our team. I'm going to save this because I think that would actually be kind of good. The strength thing for the D-line. Alright, so now we're going to go do our upgrades. Nobody. Wow, that was kind of bad. I mean, I did upgrade Kyle Pitch just now. Now I'm going to actually go look at the college players. We need a quarterback. And I don't have the right quarterback scouts, I almost guarantee you. So there are a lot of quarterbacks that we could take. I think we should probably take the most athletic one, Tim Luck. He's got great two elite throw power. Not the fastest guy in the world. We know like nothing about him. Oh my. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put him on my board yet. Eric Hutchinson, great two elite throw power. But again, these guys are just not looking that athletic right now. Parker Sheldon. Good to great speed. A juke move. He's really smart, it seems. So far, we know the most about, like, Sheldon Parker. Good to great dope power. Good to great speed. This guy looks like the best overall guy, I think. I mean, his stats are still not good. Why is this guy in, like, trucking for all of them? Like, that's just, no. This guy's got great to elite speed. Hopefully, we'll know more about them come draft time. I hope I have good scouts. If I don't, I'm very sorry. Yeah, so I do have a Tier 3 quarterback scout that's in the Southeast for some reason. They better all be in the Southeast or I'm going to be pretty angry. USF, Eric Hutchinson. Like, I should have a national scout, but it's all good. I, I, we were just going to scout quarterbacks today. I might scout another position later. I think we're going to hop in now against the Jags. I had it, the CPU uniforms. Oh, 
All blue for the Jags. Let's wear black. I think that's gonna be cool. Yeah, this. I like this. I don't know if we wore this last episode or not, but we're gonna wear black. The Jags will wear blue. This is a game where I think that we can win. Um, our corners, hopefully, like, they don't skin us alive, which they probably will. TIA, Bank, Field. Jags are going to receive the opening kick. We're not going to give Jamal Agnew a chance to return. He's a very good returner. He's already got, like, three this season, I think, in real life. On first down, I would think the Jags would be running it. Oh, good Rundy. Who is that? that? He doesn't look like he plays very much. John Kaminsky, he actually does play like a decent bit. Alright, so we're going to be in man here. Oh, as LaVisca Chenault drops the ball. That was almost horrific defense as well. Yeah, LaVisca Chenault just drops the football. As it's third and 13, we need to make a stop. Trevor Lawrence is going to run and not fumble. That is Trevor Lawrence just skinned us alive. That never even happens either. It's just going to be Trevor Lawrence running on us. Good defense, I guess, by Fabian Moreau. It's play action. Oh, Winfield! Oh, and the ball's loose! Get it! Oh, my! Trevor Lawrence is just... Oh, I'm sick. Oh. That was a good play by me, honestly. James Robinson has not done anything so far this game. I think this whole pressure thing is kind of working. They've got a lot of play players that we have to guard right now. Oh, it's a run. And we cannot tackle. That's just fantastic. We didn't, we didn't even know that James Robinson had the football. He was stiff-arming the air. Travis Etienne checks into the game as we shut down his run game, too, it looks like. Another good tackle, honestly. It's third down. Let's get a stop here. Please. Winfield, man, he has not been that good with since coming over from the box. I mean, it's been okay, but he really has not been that good. This is a defense that I run online head to head, like franchises and whatnot. This is a defense that I, that I run. Good tackling by Hall in the middle. PJ Hall, I think is his name. Just got in there and made the stop. Why, why could I not say that there? This is going to be a touchdown to DJ Chark, guaranteed. Oh, it's a run. Good tackle by two at Mariner. He's having himself a game so far. So we are shutting down this Jags run game. It's his third and goal. Uh-oh. Well, who am I on? That is really my fault, but wow, I was confused. I mean, that was going to be a touchdown either way, but like... What am I even doing? Why am I running my own defense? I'm not allowed to be doing that.
We're down seven nothing, and the Jags just took up. That that's the way to do it. I mean, thirteen play drive. Trevor Lawrence just ran it down our throats. I mean, two big rushes. I wish we could add that fumble. I mean, that was actually not a horrific return. Jacoby Reset in the offense goes out there. Stretch run here feels not very good. Oh, Calvin Ridley's back. Has, has he been back? I don't think he's been back. I'm going to be honest, I'm not really remembering because I haven't played this in like a week and a half. <laughs> been on like break for Christmas. I'm still am on break for Christmas, but feeling recording today. This should be a good play, I think. Uh oh. Blake! Oh! Is he gonna go? No, because he's slow, but like. Oh, he, he just went all the way! 60! I can't tell because it was moving, but. Wow! Blake! What a catch and run. The Jags just could not catch up to him. I mean, the Jags secondary is not actually that slow, but, like, Blake is pretty slow, too, not gonna lie. But, like, I don't even know. He just outrun him there. That was, oh, no, now we're giving Jamal Agnew a turn, chance to return. This is gonna be a touchdown. Oh, good. Voice out of Luakun just told him to sit down. He didn't even let him go anywhere. Uh oh, I'm sorry, Travis Etienne is not good. Why is Marvin Jones a tight end right now? This is the weirdest thing. Ever. They just ran a tight end on a slant, guys, and they just destroyed us. James Robinson's not going any on there. He only has six rushes for nine yards. The guy is not very good. Trevor Lawrence is going to run. Slide down. He's literally averaging 15 yards every time he runs the ball. I don't know why we're running so good defense. The only thing we literally cannot defend is when the running back, like, I mean, not the running back, when the receivers run slants. <gasps> oh, my. Winfield. <laughs> Winfield does not know how to play defense. This is what I've decided. I was just not even... Close defense. Good tackle in the open field by Winfield. I mean, yeah, Trevor Lawrence is uh, dominating. Like, Winfield, bro, he's just not very intelligent. Like, I just watched him get absolutely torched. Oh, I do not like this play. Maybe on Oliver. I think that's a good decision. That's not a very good decision. Who's that? Tyler Croft? He just got sandwiched by our team. Oh! Let's go, Terrell! Let's go! He gets the pick on DJ Chark. We finally, we are finally learning to stop that slant route. Trevor Lawrence throws it right at AJ Terrell. I should have audibled the passer. They had no safety on the other side. Mike Davis is not doing a whole lot right now. Oh, I thought it was going to release. It was going to make me release. But yeah, Kyle Pitts gets a solid gain of yardage there. Uh, 
that was almost bad, but I had just land out throw to your big target, Kyle Pitts. I gotta get Kyle Pitts more like jump balls, like Blake again. Solid gain, actually. Jacoby Brissett is not doing bad like at all right now. It's the best game of the season. Good catch by Blake. Blake and Kyle Pitts, man, they're they're dominating right now. I don't understand why Blake is dominating, but he is. This is not the play that I meant to run, but we can make do. Marquise Goodwin. I'm gonna call time out. I'm like only calling his play right now for some reason. Oh, the two slant rats got stuck on each other. That, that's my bad because I put uh, him on a slant. Blake, I put Blake on a slant, which was not the best of decisions. Oh, go Mike Davis. If I didn't accidentally tap aggressive catch, that would have been good. I'm going to let the clock tick down a little bit here so we do not give the Jags time. So yeah, they have like no time now. Time out, time out. We gotta score here. If we don't get points here, I'm gonna be just sick. Kyle Pitts. Oh. I I still got time to do one more play, I think. I'm gonna put Kyle Pitts on a normal track here. Just believe in Kyle Pitts. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. Let's go. I think it's good. You know, my coup kicks it through the uprights. We're up 14 7. That was a beautiful drive. I'm just going to see if this will take it to the end of the thing. But Chris Claybrook is not, like, slow or anything. Oh, my. He just hurtled over us. I saw green grass and got scared. Yeah, we're even going to get the ball straight in the second half. Our defense has played well. Only about seven points. Our offense has played well. This could potentially be our first victory. I mean, the Jets game should have probably been a victory. The Giants game, we had a chance. Jazz game, we just straight up choked because we're the Falcons. I think I'm going to run it here. Run game is just not there right now. That was four yards. It did not feel like four yards. I don't care. I'm going to put Blake back on a slant again. Holding Matt Hennessy. Great. Now it's second and 16. Turn PA crossers. Uh oh wow, that was just great blocking by Caleb McGarry. Yeah, we're just going to probably have to punt it here. Just don't do anything dumb. This play is kind of broken. Hopefully it will work. I think I got good win. I think I got good win. Burnt the Jags secondary. Told you that play is just broken. Just deleted from the playbook. We're in double post. I think Kyle Pitts should get opened here. I 
I just held on for, to it too long. I looked at Kyle Pitts. It wasn't open. I just, I mean, that's smart, though. I took the sack. What's QB Sonia check? I don't even know what this is, but this is about to be bad, and I know it. Calvin Ridley almost caught it, actually. Should we just punt again? Oh, I just completely missed where I was. Backspin? Oh, man. I even clicked backspin. How's that not backspin there? That was beautiful. And then backspin, even though I tapped backspin. This is now a touchback. Oh, I finally had a little coup. Now I have to go back through again. And oh, my. I'm stuck on the D line. This is not good. What is happening? Okay. Thank you for. James Robinson is literally averaging two yards a carry right now. So I am perfectly fine with James Robinson doing that. I do not need him to skin us alive. Oh! Oh, that was Fabian Moreau's chance. Except he did not jump. There's only zone blitzes. I do not like zone blitzes. Because we... Do not play effectively when there's a zone blitz. It's going to be a touchdown. Unbelievable. Okay, good job. AJ Terrell missed the tackle. Okay, good job by Jalen Hopkins or whatever his name is. Oh, no. We, we definitely had a chance there to do good. Luke and I'm in backfield, but then two of Mariner came and stuffed him as well, so. Why is it only 60 pinches? That is the most horrible thing I've ever seen. I want the Jacks one, because it actually, like, stuffs the middle. They have a... That's not a... Oh, my. He was... He was down way short of that, too. Unbelievable. Oh, no. We're tied at 14. Yes, we got a game. Really need to put Marquise Goodwin back there. I'm going to run it. We've not had the run game do anything so far this game. Blake on the slant. Gets us to the 45. Kyle Pitts. What a catch on the sideline. By Kyle Pitts. It's also a pretty good throw too. Okay, Ridley should have a touchdown here. He gets a good throw. Ridley, go up. What a catch by Calvin Ridley. 
Devon Hamilton's down for the Jags. That was an excellent catch by Calvin Ridley. One of the best plays he's made all season, honestly. I just threw it up. Oh, what a juke. I mean, the juke didn't really get him far, but at least he's averaging over two yards a carry. Unlike someone on the other team. All right. Calvin Ridley touchdown. Oh, I missed that up really badly. Doinked off the upright. Unbelievable. That's how we're going to lose this game, guaranteed. Kobe Brissett, man. He's having himself a day. Oh, Deion Jones hat. They're going empty. Why is Trevor Lawrence's juke move that good? That is just not even real. That's Sheffield. Is he going to house this one? No. What a play. Kendall Sheffield. As we get two interceptions on Trevor Lawrence this game. It looks like they're playing a lot of players. And like, the, oh my. Whoever the... Why is there someone frozen right there in the middle of the screen? Oh my, he, did, he literally did not block anyone, the guy that was frozen in the middle of the screen. He blocked him and then let Mike Davis just get killed. Why do you stop running? Good juke by Mike Davis, but that was not who I was going to. I was trying to get Blake to go over to the sideline, but he was not for some reason. He was being weird. I think I might have a Kyle Pitts touchdown here. I think I might have a Kyle Pitts touchdown. Oh, man. He completely dropped it. That was fourth and two. I think we can end it here. I gotta play it safe. I'm gonna miss this. I missed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, bro. Oh my. I should have just went for it. I knew I should have because I can't kick for dear life. Young Mike Koo's going to lose us this game. It's honestly not even his fault. Now we're running zone blitzes again. Why does it only want me to run zone? Good tackle by Hawkins. Stuff James Robinson in the backfield. It's third down. Let's get the stop. Oh man, that was, I just had something in my throat there. Okay. Okay, I was going to say, I was very confused. It's fourth and seven. We get to stop here. We most likely win the game. Oh, he drops the football. The Atlanta Falcons 
might have their first victory in 2021. Well, I mean, it's 2022 now in real life, but not in the game, it's not. Uh-oh. Oh, what a catch by Goodwin, honestly. Sad that he got out of bounds there, but. QB draw. Oh my, he's just so big that he just falls forward for three yards. Third and six. I'm just going to let it, just take it to the two-minute warning. I think I'm probably just going to end up kicking. Mike Davis up the middle. He's so close. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm just going to end it right here. Keith Smith, the fullback, is going to have a first. And he's going to have the Atlanta Falcons their first victory. She gotta play it safe. Just run it up the middle. I know it's gonna be boring, but that's just what we have to do. Mike Davis. Very, very close to... No! No. He should be okay. He didn't, he's not going to the locker room. He's, I should have good win as well here. Now made us call timeout. You've actually got to be kidding me. We're... Okay, that's Oh, that's not who I meant to throw to, but it doesn't matter. The Atlanta Falcons are gonna win this good football game. Oh my, how do you how do you just you're so open. Jacoby Reset though having a game. I'm going to substitute. I cannot risk it. My even more injury for Kyle Pitts. Let him waste time. I hate this when this happens so much. You gotta put pressure on the CPU. Oh, that's not what I went around. Okay, there we go. They're an empty. Well, this guy Chanel is having some drop issues right now. You cannot catch anything. They just run the same play twice in a row. And Trevor Lawrence gets out of bounds. You round up there. 80 yards on five carries. 16 yards a carry for Trevor Lawrence. That is just unbelievable. DJ Chark is at tight end now. What a... Jags are so bad that they have to play their receivers at tight end. Like, oh, the ball's loose. John Kaminsky.
and a few QB Neals will get the Atlanta Falcons the victory. And this one last kneel down will be a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. I told you it happened. And it has finally happened. Yes. I did not mean to have A there, but. The Atlanta Falcons go into Jacksonville and get the win. I'm going to record another episode right after this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I, mean, I am going to go over the stats and whatnot. I don't even know what the title of the video should be, because I don't want to say, like, win. But, like, I think I should say something about Trevor Lawrence's running. Like, our defense, I'm not sure how many turnovers they forced. I'm going to say something about our defense. Like, Jacoby Brissett had a perfect pass rating. Wow. Jacoby Brissett is best game as a Falcon. For sure, Mike Davis did not do good at all. Christian Blake had four catches for 118 yards and a touchdown. That is quite a few fantasy points. I mean, it's not even that much, actually. Yeah. The only person that really was... Oh, Calvin really didn't have a touchdown. So, not that lackluster. Defensively, Luke and Deion Jones, Antoine Winfield, and Jalen Hawkins had five tackles each. Tackle for loss for Kaminsky, Aluakun, Hawkins, Dumariner, Copland. Everyone got in there. So we, we're not going to get a sack. Two picks for Kendall Sheffield and A.J. Terrell, like, combined. Forced fumble for John Kaminsky, covered by John. Wait. No, it was forced by Winfield, recovered by Kaminsky. See, I'm going to say, like, I don't know. I could do something about Jacoby Brissett. I don't want to do the kneeling thing, though. This is really awkward. Why can I not, like... Okay, this is good, I guess. It's a screenshot that I want. So yeah, that's probably going to do it for this episode. We're going to do upgrades. Christian Blake has one. He plays. I'm not exactly happy that he plays, but he plays. Plus three release. That's good. I mean, he's 89 speed. His route running is terrific. But yeah. Early skill points. I'm going to go in and buy a strength rating plus four for everyone. The weight room plus four strength for everyone. And we're going to see him next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Found it interesting. Leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.